video, we want to show you how to do version tracking with help of the MBS plugin in your FileMaker solutions. Let's first create a little database application. Let's say we take the template one here for ethers. We then open our little helper here. And in the scripts, we have one to create a database designer pod automatically. So as you see, we call the MBS functions. We set an option for XML. We pass a folder where to save it. And very important, which file should be reported. And that's important because we don't want to report our split example here. So let's run it. That was quick. And you see the XML file is here. And now you could put that in your version tracking. But that wouldn't be much fun because this is a huge XML file and you like to split it. So here we have an example script which uses a lot of XML functions from the MBS plugin to split your XML file into a lot of smaller files. Let's run it. We get a folder. And this folder has now the individual parts of the XML and also split in the layouts, the scripts, the tables, and the themes. So you can see later changes in individual files to track your changes much easier. Let's use version tracking. So I got the source tree application here as one of many Git clients. I add my assets folder as a new repository. Great. Now I open it. And this is my initial import. And commit. Yeah, of course. So now let's make a change in the database. So you have a long working day. You may change a field here on the layout. You may go to the Manage Database dialog and maybe change some options somewhere. Let's say we say we want to disable this one. And now we also go in the script workspace. Oh, let's say add a comment. Hello. Save the script. So we don't need to quit FileMaker or close this database. We can simply switch to the other one, split DDR, and run the DDR command again. Oh, sorry. The file was there. Let's trash it. That's something you could script, of course. Let's run it again. Now we didn't get any dialog and we can split again. Just run the split again. So here we have newer files. And now we go to the version tracking and it lists us that the base table catalog changed. So here the option for strict validation was changed. Also the layout catalog changed, but that's a big XML file. We have also here the detailed file to show us with the path exactly which layout was affected. And you see here some flags changed and the size of the field changed with the right coordinate. We also can see that we added a script step and in the tables the validation again. So the split um, split script currently leaves the bigger files there and also writes the smaller ones here. And this even works with folders as it does some recursion there. It's up to you whether you keep it, but you can now see here all the changes. You can track it here and say this is, uh, those are important changes, changes from client, uh, requested from a client. 
and we commit it and now we can actually see our history here and if you if you stack up hundreds of changes you will benefit from seeing when you did something and you may also search for certain files being changed over time and then see who made what change at what time and maybe even why in the comments. So we hope this is helpful and you can of course go and modify the scripts here. So this is our example script to make the DDR and the split script which just takes the individual XML parts and writes them to files and then has a special handling for layouts, themes, scripts and tables to also create matching folders and then write the files there. And if there is a sub item we recursively call the script again. And this is quite quick and can process huge databases and with the help of our automated DDR you could script this to run it every evening when you are done with your work and just make a fresh DDR report and put it on the Git repository. You could even automate um, the committing with Git via the command line in our shell functions and of course you can put this all in a long script to do it all with one hotkey defined via the plugin. Thank you for watching.